Hello everyone! Welcome back to Nuffy Cat! We're so glad that you can join us today. Today I want to talk about, in this video, something really important for a trader. And for those of you who want to take getting into stock trading and even into financial education in a serious way. And this is a trade journal. It's keeping a trade journal. So a trade journal is a record of all of the things you have traded, all of the things you want to trade, all of the strategies that you're trying, or the one strategy when you're a newbie is very wise to just stick with one, and the tests that you've done, and the results. It's a very good way to track your history and your progress. And to keep also, it helps you to keep track of trades that are stocks that you may be interested in buying. And if you're like me, there's a million stocks, <laughs> you know, it seems in the market. And it's very easy, you know, you can one day be getting interest in some and then very easily forget them. Well, a trade journal can remind you of that. And you can say, oh yeah, I was thinking of buying into that one. And you can relook it up and restudy it and see if it's ready for you. Uh, it also is really good to write about the real reasons why you want to trade into a stock. It helps you to separate your emotions from your logical decisions and also for your strategies. You can follow strategies instead of just emotional decisions and that can be very, very beneficial. I know that for a lot of you, thinking of keeping a journal may just feel like a bunch of extra work, but it's important to take it seriously. You'll be able to see how you've progressed years later. You'll be able to see how you're progressing now and how your thinking goes and which companies might really be up your alley. You can, as I was mentioning, you can study your past successes and your failures. You can also use it to refine strategies. So let's say that you've journaled, let's pretend you're a person who likes to do swing trading. You can then take a look at what your strategy has been and you can refine it and learn from it and make better trading decisions as you go along. Another thing that it really can help you with well, when we're traders, we can get emotional about our stocks. And it keeps you from being able to keep the rose-colored glasses on if something's looking like it might be better to trade into. And again, it doesn't quite fit your strategy. It helps you see that and it helps you keep those glasses off so that you won't, you won't deceive yourself into thinking you should trade. And it also helps to prevent the pessimism that can happen when you've had a loss or if you've had several losses. You can go back in your trade journal and you can look at your successes. And you can learn from them. It gives you a wonderful learning ground that you can analyze and, like I was saying earlier, get better at your strategies. It's also very fun just for the sake of seeing how far you've come. Sometimes we forget. I remember when I didn't know what an RSI line was and I, did, I didn't know what the indicators were. <laughs> I didn't used to know what support and resistance was. We'll go into all of those in future uh, videos, I'm sure. <laughs> but looking back, I can see just how much I've learned. Another thing too is with your mindset. It gives you an insight and in, in eyes into the way that you think and then why, the way, why you think the way that you think. So it can be written by hand or you can write it, you know, like this. You can write it in a journal like this. Those of us who are more old school might like to do that. And it also can be written online, like in a word processing document or even on a spreadsheet. A spreadsheet is a really good idea, um, especially for those of you who don't like to be too wordy, but do like to really look at things. A spreadsheet, you can put mathematical formulas into it, as a lot of you already know, that can show you an awful lot and give you an immediate look at things. And you can look into stocks that way and make that process even easier. I thought that I would share that with you today, though. And I'm curious if any of you viewers out there might be able to think of more reasons that a trading journal is very valuable. If you do, if you think of something, write it down in the comments below so that more of us can see it. 
I really appreciate that because this is a channel for learning financially and I want you included in that process. Yes, just like he is. Yes, he's a wonderful helper in these teachings. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Well, I don't know if he's going to play like I was hoping he would. Yeah, I see here. Hi. I wanted to add here too. <laughs> I wanted to add that trading is really valuable and take it seriously. For those of you who want to get it past the gambling stage, it does mean that you have to study. It does mean that you have work to do. And it does mean that you have to analyze yourself realistically. Trade journals can really help you do that. <laughs> I really encourage you to, whether or not you just want to start with one like this, with some cute journal, I encourage you to start and to check that out. And to get that started in your life. It's also a step that brings you from an amateur level into a much more professional level. When you're starting to journal and you're starting to pay attention to what you buy, what you trade, what your strategy is, your successes and your failures, and you have the look at why did you succeed and why you failed so that you can refine your strategy more, you're going into the professional levels. And it is very well worth it. If you like the content of our videos, don't forget to take those paws and hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. We appreciate that a lot. You can hit the notification bell and get all of Nefertim's videos. Oh, somebody's checking out the camera there. That was very cute. <laughs> Thank you all so much for joining us today and for, and for watching our videos and for learning with us. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.